What's going on guys, it's Baker. Welcome back to Blue Line Morphs. I hope everybody's doing absolutely fantastic. Had an absolutely brutal, long, really exciting, fun week at my side job, which is being a cop. And I had to get in here today, Wednesday. Had a little bit of nap. Woke up at about 2, two o'clock in the morning. Went to work. Worked from like 3 to 11. Took a nice little nap. Then I got to get in here, go through some things, weigh some snakes, do some water swaps, some spot cleaning, so forth and so on. So this video is actually for a couple hours from now. So I'm running a little bit late, but got to get that content out. Got to keep everybody updated. And that motivates me to keep doing more. I don't know what to tell you. With that being said, I walked in here and it smelled like death. So I got the window open right there. Of course, my ding dong. Spoke about her. That's not my ding dong. Spoke about her in the past. This is my uh, bumblebee girl who I was going to sell as a breeder. But unfortunately, she either kills things and doesn't eat them. Or she tries to drown herself. So I decided she's my pet and I, you know, she's my ding dong. She's my ding dong. It's really bad wobble, but you know what? She actually eats pretty well what she does eat. And she actually breeds really well too. Gives out like eight or nine eggs. But I'm never probably going to breed her. She's just a pet. That being said, she stuck up the whole room, which kind of sucks. I'm going to spend the next eight, four hours in here. All good though. But listen guys, I want to get into a couple things. We had some huge, monstrous news here at Blue Line Morphs this week. I mean huge. Two massive pairings I've been looking forward to happening. Uh, more importantly though, we'll talk about that in a little bit. What I do want to talk about is my game plan going forward with these young males. What I'm going to do if they don't get their shit together, right guys? I think it's something I, I have to be uh, cognizant of and something I have to prepare for. Now I've always been told that you have to have a backup male and this is kind of one of those reasons why. Uh, long story short, guys, if you remember, I did a video a couple weeks ago kind of talking about how is my, se is my season screwed because I'm utilizing, I'm using, Diesel, cut it out, and I'm using so many young males this year, i.e., I got this boy right here who just hit a year old. Happy birthday, bud. That's that ODYB fire leopard pie pet clown boy that we made here at Blue Morphs. I got big plans for him, right? Pastel clown pie, kill a leopard clown pie. Leopard double head clown pie and a GHA Mojave double head clown pie. But so far, no dice with him, no locks, no visible locks. So what am I going to do? Am I going to keep riding this out? When I got girls, I got 12 millimeter follicles, 13 millimeter follicles, so forth and so on. The answer is no, we can't do that, right? Taking a step forward, we got this boy down here. Now I know I, I talked about getting into this paint game and I want to do a lot of stuff with the paint game. But so far, my yellow belly paint boy doesn't like girls. So we have to figure that out too. So far, no dice. We put them with a few girls that actually have 12 or 13 millimeter follicles, a couple clowns too. So then you take it a step further, you've got, get out of the way big boy, you got this boy right here. This is our pastel redhead head clown male. Looks like he's deep in shed right now and he's hissing and he's not happy. All right. He has ultimately replaced our confusion clown boy, which is this boy right here. Let me pull him out for you. Take a look at it. Show some snakes off. Not just me talking too much. Here he is, that's my Confusion Clown Breeder, absolute savage. Guy locks up right away, but he kind of got replaced by this passed out redhead head clown. So what's gonna happen if they can't breed? So this is the importance of having these backup uh, uh, males, guys, because here's the deal. I've been waiting on this pastel redhead head clown to kind of get his shit together, all right? The plan is to bring him to a Fireblade Clown, OD Vanilla Clown. What else do I got? I forgot. Uh, Sterling Lester Clown, a couple other clowns down below there. And unfortunately, when I did, unfortunately, when I did ultrasound these girls, a lot of them are starting to produce follicles. So he's got to get his shit together. And same thing with the ODYB Fire Leopard Pie Boy and that paint, yellow, yellow belly paint boy. So what happens if they can't get their shit together? We're going to waste these females? I don't intend to. That is for sure. Especially these more mature females. It's not like if some of these girls are 18 months old, two years old, they're growing follicles. He's not getting together, not the end of the world. Maybe I'll give him another year to get bigger. However, this season I plan on having a nice big season, all the culmination of pretty much dumping everything I had into this collection and building for these projects kind of comes down to this season. I'm really looking forward to it. But what happens if they don't get their shit together? So here's the backup plans, guys. Really not hard to understand, but this is the importance of having a backup male. I'm going to wait another about month or so, still relatively early in the season, Season, even though I over here kind of breed all year long, if you've got follicles, I'll put a male to you. It's kind of that, that way over here. But with that being said, if this boy cannot get his shit together, oh, I'm sorry, honey, you want to go in your house? I'll put it back over here in the warm spot. Put it back in Florida, okay, bud? If he does not get his shit together, all right, what am I going to do? Am I going to just let this passed out clown pie, kill leopard clown pie, leopard double head, and GHM Mojave double head go to shit? Nah, we got this boy right here who's locking for us. Back up, back up so everybody can see you. 
Got this boy right here locking for us like an absolute beast. This is our Clown Pie Breeder male. He's like 1,300 grams, absolute savage. He's locked for a super entry double head, yellow belly entry double head, normal double head, and our yellow belly, le yellow belly fire leopard double head. So worst case scenario, if he cannot get locked up in the next couple weeks, guys, then we're just going to have to utilize him. Maybe not put him to like the pastel clown pod or the kill leopard clown pod, because maybe I just want to utilize them and make double heads or triple heads or something else, but rather maybe definitely put him to the leopard double head Mojave, GHA Mojave double head. So that is the plan right now, guys. Not the end of the world there. Obviously, I'd like to utilize him with all those genetics and put him back to all these animals with those other genetics. So take a step forward. What if our pastel redhead head clown can't get his shit together? Long story short, guys, we're actually in really good shape. And if you're kind of, I mean, it's not, really not hard to understand what we're going to do, right? Who are we going to utilize? It's real simple. We're going to go back to this boy right here, guys. I love Confusion, Acid Static, all them. Huge shout out to Joe from Empire State Exotics for hooking me up with this boy. So if the pastel redhead head boy can't get his shit together, we're going to utilize our Confusion clown boy and give that guy another year or possibly pick up a redhead clown actual visual. I'm hoping he gets his shit together. We'll talk about that in a second. But worst case scenario, you better not. Because then we're really screwed. we got to go to our pastel leopard etchy clown if you do that. So with that being said, guys, it'll just turn into a nice confusion clown world. But we do have some huge... Oh, if our yellow belly paint boy doesn't get his shit together, I mean, it kind of is what it is, guys. And we'll utilize one of our other males and go to some of these other females. But we do have some huge news in regards to that. Oh, update on a stranger. Everybody always asks. People kind of follow along with that saga there. I just weighed him before I started making this video. He's about 565 grams. He hasn't eaten in about three or four weeks. Not the end of the world, guys, because he is breeding, right? He's going to four girls now. And as you can see, these four girls are bull wrapping. Hi, OD, yellow belly fire clown. OD fire, Enchi clown. Everybody's on the cool side, guys. Even our homemade girl right here who's deep in shed. They're all cool seeking. Um, so we're in very good shape when it comes to them. And even this girl right here, she's, she's growing her follicles out. She's just the, the smallest follicles of the crew. But he's at 565 grams, guys. So two of those girls, that's 26 millimeter follicles. We're going to check them in about another week and a half to see where they're at. They're up over that 30 millimeter follicle mark. We'll throw the stranger boy back to them for one more lock each, and they should be done. With that being said, we're going to let the stranger boy kind of relax and chill out. As long as he maintains about 540, 530 grams, we're going to put him, probably put him to another pied girl to make some nice double heads. We'll see what happens with that. But huge news, guys. Absolutely huge news. This girl right here, I was a little interested to see if she would go this year. This is our Gotham girl. Remember we picked up in that collection from my boy Aaron right here over in PA. She is about two and a half years old, two years, give or take. Kind of a finicky eater, but she's sitting at this where? Fuck it. My channel. My channel. Hold on. Scale's broken. Way around my food scale. Where are we at? So we're at 1,430 grams, all right, guys? So she's not the biggest animal in the world, not the smallest animal in the world, right there on the cusp where you want to be breeding these things. And she's about two and a half years old. So she did finally lock up. She locked up right away with this poor boy. This guy just wants to sleep. I keep pulling him out. Confirmed lock. Oh, confirmed lock between these two this week, guys. Oh, we're, this is going to be a shit show. Confirmed lock with these two. We got a Gotham, which is a banana leopard clown locked up with our Confusion Boy. So I'm very, very happy with that, guys. Shout out to that pairing. Very happy with that. She was a huge question mark whether or not she would be ready this season. But that is not the big news, guys. That is not the big news. I was just talking mad shit about our pastel redhead head clown boy. And sure enough, he did get his first lock this week. I actually had him in with the OD vanilla uh, clown girl. No dice there, but I threw him in right here to this girl. This is our fire blade clown. She's a relatively big girl. Um, she did breed for us this year, produced a couple of nice animals. Uh, but they locked up. They stayed locked for about 24 hours. So I'm very, very very happy about that. I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that that means our pastel redhead het clown boy will get his shit together. I can put him through about four or five girls this season. He's big. He's about 900 grams, about 1,000 grams. eats like a beast. He's in sheds. So we'll give him this week off. But that is huge, epic news for us guys, okay? Because we're relying heavily on him in a clown, pro clown projects. Wanted to have a nice stranger redhead clown but a uh, year, but it wouldn't have been that bad. Not making those this year. It would be nice to have a stranger slash redhead clown season for me over here at Blue Eye Morphs. 
But it would have been the end of the world because like, Fusion Boy is locking up like a motherfucker. And to go even a step further, he locked up with a girl that I didn't even have in my breeding plans. This season I had a big question mark next to her name. Um, so we're going to have to ultrasound her, see where she was at. Last I checked, like 7 or 8 millimeter follicles. Didn't think she would go. It was, really, was kind of hard to see him. A little bunched up near the spine. But now that she got a lock in her, she's hammering rats. That is a plus. Very happy about that. Would love to see a nice banana. A confused banana, if you will. Okay, but love to see confusion. Banana clown this season. Preferably a girl. That would be absolutely phenomenal, guys. But two big news. Two big things happened this week at Blue Line Morris. Pretty happy about it. Stoked about it. In fact, so we're going to get to, we're gonna get going over here at Blue Line Morphs, guys. We're going to spot clean, get that radio. We'll get the mess in here. We're going to get the, the TV on, catch up on some of our social medias, catch up with Shane Smalltown, Gomez, everybody else, and we're going to be in here for the next four hours. I love it. That being said, guys, I hope you love the hobby as much as I do. Shout out to everybody, and thank you for everybody that watched our video uh, last Saturday. Kind of just talking about keeping this thing as a hobby. Nice to make money, but at the end of the day, this is my hobby now, guys. Long week at work, lots of overtime, but at the end of the day, we get to come hang out with my two best friends here. Where is he? Hang out with my two best friends right here and hang out my facility, my man cave. So I love this hobby, guys. I love you guys for following me along this journey. Huge shout out to my redhead boy. Hopefully it keeps this show on the road. Uh, but as always, guys, I appreciate you guys. Be safe. Watch the six.